let's talk about Zoho Checkout. First, let's talk about what not to use it for, and that is for anything that is more more so for a store. If you have multiple products and services, you want that to be in a store like Zoho Commerce. Um, Zoho Checkout is for a single product or service. It can be a recurring payment like a membership. It can be a one product on a website like a book. But just keep in mind that you can't allow a visitor to select different products and then check out once. When you first log in, here's the, um, I, I call it a wizard because it walks you through each step, making sure that everything is done. As you can see, it's green. It has a check mark whenever it's completed. If not, it just has, you know, basically the one, two, and three, and four would be here. And then you've got a handy little video that you can watch to get a little bit familiar with Zoho Checkout. The payment pages, each page that you set up, will have or be a payment page. This, I just set up a quick little donation page so that you can see, okay, it had to be a dollar amount there. So it has $1, one time payment, never expires. Thank you, thank you for your donation. And it's using the SFS demo template. And we'll talk about templates in a second, but however many payments you've had would be here in the revenue. Now, I didn't get to go through and, you know, do transactions because there was no way for me to do test transactions. They would be real and I didn't want to, you know, just make a lot of charges just to uh, be able to show a list of, of payments here. So this is, um, this is what it'll look like on the back end when, when you go in to edit the page or when you first create the page, you've got the title, the description, the amount. So set the amount and then you have this option here that says the customer can decide how much they want to pay. And you can set a minimum for that. So let's say it's a, you know, a course and it costs a thousand dollars and you want them to at least pay $200, you know, minimum. Then you'll have the 200 here. You have the entire amount there. You can do one time recurring or decide at checkout. So they can decide on checkout if they want to do a one time payment or a recurring payment. You can add coupons right here. I've added a coupon called a student discount where you can add a 10% discount. So let's say you had a product and you have, you know, one that you're promoting here at a college and it's for students then that payment page would have the coupon already there. You've got terms and conditions, and then whenever they make the payment, do you want them to see a message or do you want to redirect them to a different URL? You can also insert placeholders and be more personable, put their name, and then the page can expire. If you choose for it to only work until a certain date, you'd put that date here. This is the demo. Um, template that I created. You can go in, create a new template from here. Oh, let's just cancel that. Or we can do it in the settings, which we'll get to in a second. So payments will be listed here. Reoccurring or recurring payments will be listed here. Coupons. This is where I set up the set up the coupon for the students. And analytics. This is where you'll see the revenue. You can put a date range in here, all right? You can look at all pages or just each page, you know, one at a time. And then you've got your lost opportunities, payments, recurring payments, and then your customers. They'll all be listed here. Now we're gonna jump over to the settings. This is the back end where you can add logo and all of that good stuff. Let's take a look at what this looks like first. Let me go back here and I am just going to do a quick preview. This is what my Zoho checkout, you know, the link, this is what it looks like. I've got a logo here, I've got my colors, and then I've got contact information, contact information and then uh, payment information, and then they pay. I also placed it on a site because I have a Zoho site that I'm creating for you guys as a demo. Hold on. Here we go. And 
here if you go to the features I have an example of a Zoho checkout form for you okay so scroll down past the survey and then you'll see Zoho checkout and this is how it looks embedded in a form on a website and that is going to be at successfuldemo.com so if you're watching this video it's already live go to successfuldemo.com and you can get a you know a, a sneak peek at Zoho sites and then all of the different things features that I've put on the site alright so in settings you can go in and add your logo organization information right your users you can have more than one user for your checkout your preferences you can change the invoice pre prefix start from whichever number you'd like to make sure you choose whether or not you want to show a quantity on your invoices and if you don't want to allow duplicate customer names for any reason you want you definitely want to uncheck this you can add custom fields to your invoice as well if a payment fails you can charge the customer again um, up to three times and here it says three days after the first attempt and then you'll send this notification you can change this number you can do a second attempt if you choose a third attempt if you choose and if not just uncheck those if you are liable to collect sales tax you want to enable that and then go through the prompts your payment gateways will be here your integrations you can integrate with MailChimp Zoho campaigns as well and then Zoho click just simply configure it here now I am in a free version right now for this demo so I don't have everything available but normally you would be able to go in and integrate with those these are the email notifications most of them are already turned on by default you can go in and make changes if I edit you know I can go in and, and choose a different choice of words different fonts size of the fonts all right so you can do that with any of those and then you've got these are customer emails and these are user emails templates this is where you'll create your new template if you want a customized template how it looks when we edit it will give you a view over on the right side so whatever changes you make all right you can see it instantly all right so you can change the header the amount details customer information payment information your footer you can enable or disable the social media buttons and then you can add a footer this is useful to back up your data um, unfortunately it doesn't have where you can schedule it but you can back the data up every now and then all right that is Zoho checkout in a nutshell if you need to be able to set up a store I recommend Zoho commerce instead of Zoho checkout um, if you're setting up subscriptions you can do recurring payments here but depending on your product or service um, I may or may not recommend that you use Zoho subscriptions um, it just depends so if you have questions about Zoho Checkout, you can drop them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help as many people as I can. And then also if you just want us to go in and customize your Zoho system for you, or if you want us to help you streamline your processes, you can contact us at SuccessfulSolutions.com. And that is by chat or by email.